today I want to share with you some ways in which um, I've learned in my 88 years uh, to engulf the word daily. The first thing I, I think of is the I have painted on my wall in the kitchen and I had that done the first week I lived here and it says be still and know that I am God and that's Psalm 4610. I've had that in my last two homes that I've lived in. Another way is I put a scripture in my bathroom and I have several things framed in there. One picture frame has six scriptures in it. Another way is that I frame, um, I frame a scripture and this particular one um, I've claimed for the year for my family. One another way is to listen to the word. When I wake up in the morning, uh, my phone is right next to my bed and I take my phone, put in my earplugs and I listen to uh, through the Bible in a year. One of my favorite ways um, to engulf the scripture is that I claim one scripture for my family for the year. This year, in December, last year in December, I searched the word, I prayed, and I felt like the Lord told me to claim Psalm 9017. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Enrich the work of our hands. Yes, enrich the work of our hands. I sent a letter to each one of my children and my older grandchildren um, explaining to them what that scripture meant to me and um, how their gifts, their talents, um, their passions in life could be used for the furtherance of the kingdom. I use that several ways during the year. One way is that I put it into a frame and I gave it to them for Christmas. Um, sometimes in lieu of saying happy birthday, I would write, um, may the favor of the Lord our God rest on you. Another way is discussing with family, with friends, um, the importance of the influence of one generation after the other in spreading the word. If you skip a generation, then that group of children is not going to hear or will not probably pass down the word. I have lived through six generations of our family. Uh, my grandmother, uh, Emma Dora Lee Donaldson, was my father's mother. People say of her, she rules the Donaldson clan from her grave. And that's because she had such an influence on our family. When I hear her name, I, heard, I remember that she uh, wrote a letter and left that letter on how to become a Christian. My dad gave me that letter on his deathbed. And I'd already heard, heard the letter read, but he said, Joyce, I want you to pass this letter along. So I copy it for every, for every reunion, family reunion, which we have every other year, and I copy it, and I give the family members copies of that letter. And the last way is music. Most difficult times in my life, I have found that music helps me. It brings me peace. Um, when my husband passed away, I was alone. My children were scattered all over. And um, I, I drove nine miles to Trinity Christian School every morning and back home. 
I would sing, I need thee every hour, I need thee. Instead of crying, I would sing that song. And then I would sing it on the way home at night. Ten months ago, I lost my daughter. The last words I heard her say was, I have more peace than I've had in my entire life. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready. Before she died, Josh Havens came and sang well done to her. I listened to that every week, sometimes several times a week, because it brings me peace knowing where she is, that she is with Jesus. The scripture says, don't worry. Don't worry about anything, but give it to God. That's difficult to do, but that's what the word tells us. And I can't think of anything more important right now for me than to know that I can give my cares and my worries to God. And I hope you will do the same. Thank you. What a what a prayer we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in Take and shield.